obviously you go gym as well, right? Yeah. What, what do you think of BBOs and, and females going gym? Do they? I think, I think yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a lie. It's, 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 it's the wrong idea, but I understand it for the marketing purposes. But you, what you're doing is you're in, you're basically showing other girls how to cheat. Because mm. there's loads of females who do BBLs now, or they do the gastric bands, or they're doing the injections or the pens. Then they're going to the gym, or they go to the gym for a short number of short time, and then they just revert back to themselves, and then they end up flying out again. So you end up paying more and cutting your line thinner each time, and keeping putting yourself under more danger and more danger. And let's not talk. Let's not forget about the women that are. You know, the deaths that have been happening. Mm -hmm. Look at the guy from Wiling Out show. I forgot the comedian's name. His wife was, what, 32? She died. She went to go and do a body reconstruction. Wow. BBL, she passed away. God rest her soul. She was stunning before it, but I'm sure that her and her partner had a discussion. But it was more for her to feel herself. But, and the doctor came out later on and did some pointless interview. Or are we talking about the girl that dated Raheem Sterling? And a few other fully, I think her name's Tabby Brown. She passed away recently. Oh, wow. And they're saying this is complications. Or there's another famous pastor that we know within our Nigerian community whose who's wife, who's a Christian. So she first passed, the first lightweight lady of the church wow. who's supposed to be preaching about acceptance of self, loving yourself, flew out to go and do a tummy tuck. I didn't know that. And she didn't make it. Wow. So what are you really doing? I'm not against it, but I really push for people to go and understand the full extent of it. Read the small print. Do you, do you reckon more girls should just go to gym instead? I think, it's a, it's, I think people should understand more about the foods that they're intaking than their genetical structures and their setup. Mm. You're never going to be perfect. You, you, listen, you, can, you will never be perfect. We all have some forms of things of ourselves that we would like to improve. I did my hair. I said, it's not going back. I rebuke it. I'm bringing it forward. <laughs> My teeth were jacked up. They looked like scattered forks. What did I do? I fixed it. Was it turkey or? It's always turkey. God bless turkey. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate the efforts. But what I'm trying to say is if you, there has to be a limit where you draw the line. For your own sake. Mm. Come on. How much? You know, I'm seeing every girl now has got lip fillers, nose fillers, cheek fillers. And they're lying about it. Meaning in the sense of, you go, oh, I've noticed something different. No, what are you talking about? I'm like, your lip is not moving. Your top lip and your nose, it's not moving. And I'm not shaming them. I'm not talking them down. But it's like, they all started to look like factory settings. Mm. Okay, fair enough. You're going to have a go at me and say, but you've done your teeth and you've done your hair. And Okay, cool. Yeah, I did. But there has to, I, like I said, there has to be a limit. I've limited myself. I wish I could do my chest or my legs or whatever, but I'm not going to do that because I'd rather work for that. Yeah. Do you understand? You have to have a line of discipline, work for something. Some things are never going to be perfect, no matter how much filling you put in your face. Okay, so right. So you're saying it's, um, it's a bit better if you do like your insecurities, but, but when you start to kind of do a bit of everything... I think your, your whys are important. Mm. Okay, right. I'll get you. If you've got a man who's telling you you ain't shit, maybe you're the man. Don't be real yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you feel like it's been something that's just really eats at your confidence, I don't know. People have their personal dark secrets. Make sure that your whys are matching up. Make sure it's making sense. Don't just do it for short-term gain. It's life-changing. That's true. Mm. That's true. Mm. Um, there's a lot of men now getting... Have you seen it? 100%, bro. I'll, I'll, do, do, it. I'll do it. Do you know what I'm going to say? Yeah. What, the BBLs? Or nah, dick enlargements. Nah, nah. <laughs> pause. Are they doing that? Bro, there's dick enlargements. There's height extensions. But you said you'll do it. Which one? No, the stomach. All <laughs> so, oh, right, right, right. Pause. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, because I mean, LA Cool J was doing it. These lot have been doing it for years. LA oh. Cool J did it years ago. What the the that Just, big ab? Yeah, come on, come on. I see that guy on Big Brother. Was it with a? With I, a I, I, I don't watch Big Brother. It was, a, it was a white guy, and he was quite big. It didn't even make sense. And he had the, he had the fake abs. Yeah, he looked crazy. Yeah. Etching. But then he looked crazy because he's not putting in the work otherwise. Yeah. Shortcut. Yeah. Shortcut. But then at the same time, there are some, there are some sports professionals, like sports models, male models, who are doing ab etching. They're putting, um, I think, that, I can't remember the name of the, there's a, there's, a, there's a type of oil that fills you up. 
All right. It's also dangerous. I'm sure you've seen these stupid skits where you see your arm, a guy yeah. with massive arms. That's the stuff they're using. Damn. I yeah. thought that was steroids. No, no, no. no. Right, steroids, right. you can tell stories from a mile away. Well, no, that's not steroids. No. All right. But some people are now doing um, height. Yeah. Have you seen it? The, the, the leg extension. Yeah, if I'm short, I'll do it too. Because the, the social construct <laughs> has made that short men ain't shit. How tall are you? I'm six, um, six four. Six four. Okay. Mm. So what, what height would you need to be to I think to extend? It's not the height of yourself, it's the height of your pocket. That's what girls are really looking for. But I mean, I don't know what it is that girls, when the girls see height, they it blinds them and they get confused. And then they just <laughs> it's like they're not seeing guys that are on their eye level, you know, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know. It's social construct, isn't it? Just how we see girls with BBLs and big bums and then we look at girls that are slim and we don't even pay them attention. But they're pretty. So... No, that's true. You know, it's preference. Mm. Preference. Um, is calling a man short body shaming? I think it should be. Yeah? Yeah. It's the same as calling a woman fat or... Yeah, calling her fat Michelin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I call a woman, you're fat and she called me short. How would you feel then? You know, it's body shaming is body shaming. True. 